So, Elizabeth, this is not your first time in Slovakia and you're quite familiar with Slovak wines and winemakers. Do you have any favorite um, grape variety or favorite wine from Slovakia? I don't think I've got a favorite um, wine exactly. And, you know, I like white varieties like um, Welsh Riesling. Um, I like Brankovka Modra. Um, and I, I quite like Davine um, as a variety. But I think the thing I, the overall style I really like in Slovakia is, which I've said before, is just the freshness and the acidity and usually a lovely purity of fruit. And maybe because I'm lucky, um, but actually meeting and tasting wines that are quite inspirational, thinking outside the box, um, being quite innovative. So that, as overall, as a category, I really like. I've heard that you've worked on a collaborative project with a Slovak winemaker. Would you like to tell us more about it? Um, so I had had an idea for a number of years of a rosé, making a rosé that provoked people to actually think that did things a little different, that wasn't a Provence copycat. And I talked to a number of winemakers, and most winemakers said, no, not interested, not interested. And then I met um, Vladimir Magula, and I said, yeah, I like your ideas, I like what you're doing. Um, would you be interested? And he kind of went, yes, this is exactly what I want to do. And so we discussed ideas, and at first he was very are you sure that's quite extreme? And I said, yes. And it just worked and worked and worked. And we tasted the first bottle last night and I'm so happy with it. It's just beautiful. Really, really happy. So it's a, it's a Slovak, very much a Slovak pink wine. Uh, you've been here, uh, you, you were here two years ago at the Danube Wine Challenge. Why did you accept the invitation again? <laughs> Uh, I think when you come to a competition, there are lots of different reasons you come. One is the other judges. Uh, that's always incredibly important that you, you develop relationships. And because this is quite a small competition, you have the chance to, to meet people that you've got to know and you've developed a relationship. So in terms of Slovakian winemakers who are judging here, that's very good. And there's an international circuit of, of really quite high quality judges and that, that is incredibly important. Uh, so that's a, one very good thing. And also you get the chance to visit vineyards afterwards in the area. So, you know, it's the two sides to it. It's getting to know Slovakian wine and it's building up a relationship with the people here and supporting the, the event. In your view, how do wine competitions contribute to the producers? And what do, they, what do they bring to the consumers of wine? Generally, uh, I'm not too sure I always support competitions. I think competitions really depend on the quality of judges. Uh, there are a lot of very big competitions um, where you need a large number of judges and whether you get a, a, a really good quality medal is quite difficult. So my panel here, we've had some really knowledgeable judges, we've been able to discuss it, and I would say the medals we're giving are really, really good. Um, there are some, um, there are some medal, some competitions where I'm not convinced always that people understand the, um, the type that they're doing. So I would say choose your competition and for a consumer, recognize which competitions. I think that's really important. Not all competitions are the same. And what about wine glasses? How can these glasses contribute to the experience, to the overall experience of wine tasting? Ah, so this. So this is really, really important, and I've been doing quite a lot of tasting experiments at home. So I use the Rona edge glasses for all of my tasting um, for rosé at the moment, and I've used the orange glasses. So that is the, the glass that I use. And it does make a difference. I never believed it did, but it actually does 
having the right glass really does open out the wines enormously. So very happy with that. <clears throat> 